Hey, what's going on everybody? July 1st, Tuesday around 10.30 a.m. About to make myself some breakfast. We got some eggs here. I actually just picked this up the other day from Stop and Shop. Now, actually pretty impressed with the macros on here as well. 70 calories, two and a half fat, zero carb, and 12 protein per link. So, what we're gonna do is cut this up, throw it in a little omelet, and the other day I cut up sweet potato into fries and made sweet potato fries when I had a barbecue. But today I'm actually gonna cut these up and just kind of make hash browns. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like when it's all put together. All right, so we got that all diced up. I'm actually going to cut up a little bit of scallion as well. All right, so we got some scallion, some sweet potato. Now what we're going to do is take sweet potato. What we do is take a paper towel, wet it, get shit all over your counter, and then just take this moist paper towel and throw it over the top of the potatoes. We're gonna go into the microwave for just a couple of minutes. You could just probably do it for about three or four minutes. And then what that really does is it will soften the potato. So when I go ahead and cook it on the pan, all I have to really do is heat it up. If you try and cook a raw sweet potato in a pan like hash browns, the inside will probably never cook. It'll take a long time. So just a quick way to get it done. All right, so now you can pretty much tell these are good to go as they are really soft. You can easily just put a fork right through that. Whereas if they weren't cooked, that would be pretty difficult to do. So all we do now is take them, toss them in a pan on a medium to low heat and just let those go. All right, next up, we're gonna take a piece of this sausage here. So for those wondering, I actually like to season my sweet potatoes with some Cajun seasoning. And they taste damn good like that. Sausage is cooking up nice. We can go ahead and toss in a little bit of scallion. All right, so sticking with the theme of having buffalo sausage, we threw on some Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. So this is the complete meal. Obviously nothing too fancy, not the best looking thing, but it will taste damn good. A lot of people just try and make things too complicated, you could see how easy that really was. It's really just cutting shit up and throwing it into a pan and being a little bit patient. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast, then probably head off, get my hair cut, hit the gym, and uh, take you guys along with me. Got a pretty busy day today. Yeah! Back in the gym. <laughs> Damn, I haven't done that in a long time, so shout out to the Hot Twins. We are in the gym for somewhat of a push day today. For those wondering, I'm actually not on a specific program right now. Yes, I am still working with the strength guys. Okay, Twitter. Uh, but the only problem is I have been traveling, as you guys have seen, doing some collabs here and there. So my workout schedule was a bit thrown off, but we will be back on schedule starting next week with a new program. So I went to the gym today and just kind of worked on what I really suck at. And as you guys know from the last collab with Bob and Brandon, we did a bench press session and my bench press was not very good and it's still not very good, but it's something that I'm always working on. So I worked my way up to just 225 for a couple of triples. My max on the bench that I've hit, I believe was 260 or 265 and it wasn't the cleanest rep. So, you know, something I'm always working on, I've just never been a good bencher. I'm not too bad with dumbbells, but the barbell bench has always given me trouble. So always working on the weak points. Uh, after that, moved on to some dumbbell shoulder press. I believe I did three sets of 10 here, and you'll actually notice the camera just cuts off uh, right as I was in the middle of the set. I'm not sure what happened, but it's all good. Uh, this guy you see right here, I really apologize. I forgot your name. Uh, he actually just came over and he started training, you know, right next to me. And the other kid you see who was actually filming for me, his name is Kurt. He's been following the channel for a while and he's been going to the gym. But this kid you see right here is only 16 years old. Um, really great physique, pushing himself, truly passionate about the gym, about bodybuilding, and really always trying to learn. So, you know, he's... Uh, yeah, again, he just he goes into the gym and he gives it his all, always learning every day, always picking my brain and asking me questions. So that's what I'm there for. You know, I try and help as many people as I can, and I really enjoy doing that because if someone 
is looking to get involved in something like bodybuilding or trying to improve their physique or health and I could help them do that, it really means a lot to me. So I'm always willing to help someone. I'm passionate about this. And if other people share that passion, then we got a lot of passion. <laughs> so moving on to some lateral raises and then off into the hammer strength incline chest press. They did two and a quarter plates per side. I believe I hit 10 reps here. I'm not 100% sure, but after this, I immediately dropped off the 25 pound plates and tried to rep out the two plates, but I guess I was so fatigued from all the other pressing that this didn't go as well as I hoped. I thought I'd be able to get around eight to 10 reps, but you'll see here that I struggled with five and the last one was a complete grinder. I probably could have just let it go, but I don't know. I just really wanted to push it and I was able to lock it out. So not too bad overall. After those pressing movements, went ahead and moved on to just some tricep V-bar press downs. And I believe I did one more tricep workout after this, but this really concludes the training footage. I didn't really have someone to film for me in the gym. I just happened to run into Kurt and he was kind enough after his workout to kind of hang around, chat with me and film my sets for me. So I appreciate that, man. Thanks again. What's going on guys? Just got in from the gym a little while ago. Taking a little bit of break. I've been working all morning since about 6.30 this morning. It's around 5ish right now. Catching up on some YouTube videos. Gonna answer some emails. Real quick, if you ordered a tank top, as of watching this video, they have been shipped already. I got them today and I'll be shipping them tomorrow morning. Uh, just to show you, really happy with how they came out. They are the Royal Blue with the white trim, American apparel brand. Uh, really soft material, very happy with the print. And I actually don't have any stock of these, so I apologize if you think it's a cool design and wanted one. They're actually all sold out on the website. But if there is a demand for them, if people like them, I am open to maybe, you know, getting some more printed, maybe changing up the color that, you know, of the tank or of the print, throwing them on t-shirts or stringers. So we'll see what the demand is for them. All right, so I just did a whole bunch of cooking in bulk, cooked up some chicken breast right there and now I'm actually cooking up, sorry for the noise here, some ground chicken and actually what I do is when I go to the butcher I have boneless skinless chicken cutlet, have all the fat cut off and then I actually have them ground the chicken there for me so they put it right through the grinder. Just a way to get fresh ground chicken extremely lean as you can see and also a lot cheaper than uh, buying it in a package. So even if you look at lean ground turkey, lean ground beef, it tends to be really expensive. But if you go to your local butcher and ask them to do it for you, it will probably be much cheaper. So just cooking some stuff in bulk so I have it for the next couple of days, being a bro. All right, so we are going to make a little burrito. Got everything in this bowl right here. Some sour cream, some ground chicken, shredded lettuce, onion, chipotle sauce, and I believe there's some beans down there, throw it on a wrap, some of this, so I'm going to wrap that up and then also some Brussels sprouts on the side. Alright, meal's all done. Nothing too fancy, as you can see, you saw the burrito wrapped up, just some Brussels sprouts with some garlic salt on top, and of course, my favorite, a Coke Zero. So, I'm gonna enjoy this. While I eat this, probably watch a couple more YouTube videos, and then uh, back to work, packing up orders, so. around one in the morning right now. As you can tell, I probably look pretty tired. 
But I made an Instagram post earlier about the tank top saying that I'm not going to sleep until I get them all packaged up with a handwritten note sealed and ready to ship out in the morning. And that's exactly what I spent the night doing. So some of them are right here. We got some more in another box and those will go out first thing in the morning. I just want to close off the video here by saying I appreciate the support more than you guys really know. I use the hashtag a lot of times, work hard, stay humble, and I truly mean that because I'm grateful for every single person that supports what I do. You know, whether you buy apparel or not, that's not what's important to me. It's that you guys are here watching these videos, commenting, liking, sharing, and it's helped me build a career out of it, and I really just keep pushing myself to get better and better every day. So it wouldn't be possible without every single one of you, even the trolls, I appreciate you guys. So thanks so much, and it's time for me to get to bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Have a good night.